Hello students, this is Mr. Gaines, and I have this week's at home science lab. Are you ready to be scientists? So I want you to help me do this, do this at home with me. Today we're going to observe and ask questions, form a hypothesis, plan the experiment, conduct the experiment, draw conclusions, and communicate results. So we're going to get started with an observation. All right, are you ready to observe? In just a moment, you're going to see an image. I want you to look for something out of the ordinary. What do you see? What did you see? Did you see something in that picture? Let me give you a second look. Can you see something now? Look carefully. Can you find the snake? There is a snake in this picture. Are you ready for another picture? Look carefully. What do you see? What can you observe? What did you see in that picture? Let me give you another chance. Can you find an animal in this picture? If you look carefully, you should be able to find a giraffe. Ready for the next picture? Look carefully. What did you see? Could you find the animal in that picture? Let's give you another chance. Could you find an animal? Right there in the middle is an owl. This next one is tricky. Look carefully. Can you find an animal in this picture? Did you find it? I'm going to give you another chance. Look carefully. This one is very hard to find. If you look very carefully, you should be able to find a leopard. He's there at the bottom in the right-hand corner. Very good. We have one last one. Can you find the animal in this picture? Look around. How did you do? Could you find this one? If you look carefully, you can find a parrot. And there it is, the parrot in the picture. Why were these animals so hard to find? Think about it for a minute. What about the animals make, made them so hard to find? It's because of, oh wait, that, that's not gonna work at all. You can't see that. Let's change the environment. It's because of camouflage. When the animal blends into its surroundings and makes it difficult to see, we see that it is Camouflage. So here we don't see the word, and where we did see it in the North Pole view. So I'm going to issue you a challenge, and at the end of the challenge, I'd like you to send me a picture. Send me the picture, your name, grade, and teacher, and then email it to me at gains at tank.org. So let me show you what the challenge is. All right, here is your camouflage challenge. I want you to pick an environment somewhere that you can hide a creature, design it so it blends into its environment, build it. Now be creative. You can use almost anything to build your creature. You can use note cards, paper, coffee filters, cotton balls, markers, colored pencils, paint, crayons, feathers, ribbons, cloth, straws, pipe cleaners, whatever you can find around the house that's okay with your parents for you to use. I want you to build a creature that will camouflage, that will blend into its environment, place it there, and see, do the people in your family notice your creature? I did one. Some of the members of my family found it, and some of it didn't. Can you see the creature that I made? Look for a moment, and can you see what I built? I have this creature here 
that I designed to camouflage with my microwave. If I put it here, it is not very well camouflaged. But if I put it here, it is well camouflaged. I want to see your creatures. Build it, design it, place it in this environment, and send me a picture. Thanks, Tankaverdi. Have fun with this activity. We'll see you next week.